guys welcome back to another part of android tutorial in the previous part of uh, this tutorial we already learned how to save data into a file in an android application uh, now in this part we are going to learn about how to save the data into the external card into the external sd card of your uh, android phone so whenever saving data into the external sd card uh, it is very uh, useful concept because uh, in the case of saving a large amount of data uh, it is uh, very convenient to save the data into the external SD card of your phone Android device uh, so here I am going to use the same example that created for the previous part in the previous part we using the project file demo so I using the same example here so here we are using uh, for saving the data uh, we using the file output stream uh, so here we are we don't need that so I just comment it uh, here we are going to create a directory on the SD card and uh, in that SD card we are going to create a file and uh, we are going to save the data into that file so first we have to uh, get the path of the SD card available in your Android device so uh, here I am going to get the path of the uh, SD card so I just create an object of SD card here sorry uh, object of file here so for getting the path of the SD card we using the class environment dot uh, there is a method called uh, uh, get external storage directory get the external storage directory ok uh, now we got the path of the SD card into this object SD card now we have to create a directory on the SD card so again I create an object of file class file directory is equal to new file uh, using the object of uh, SD card dot uh, get the absolute path get absolute path plus now I have to create a directory here I give it as my uh, directory I just create a new directory here uh, with the uh, uh, first upon I have to get the absolute path of the SD card and here I just create a directory named uh, my directory uh, now I have to create a file in that directory before I have to uh, create the directory here I we just create an object now we have to create the directory on the SD card so uh, we using a method called uh, make direct make directory so uh, next I have to create the directory so here I am using the method directory dot Uh, make directory uh, mkdirs now we successfully make the directory into the SD card uh, next I have to create a file on the directory so again I create an object of file I give it as file is equal to uh, new file first I have to pass the object of directory uh, now I give a name text to file dot is of text type txt ok now we successfully create a file here and uh, successfully create a directory on the SD card and in that SD card I just create a file named text file dot txt uh, now we using the output stream writer object to write into the directory here object is uh, file 
ओके फाइल हियर समेर सर पसंद व्हाट इज दैट फाइल इज अनडिफाइंड आई ऑलरेडी डिफाइन दैट फाइल हियर ओके हियर वी नीड वन मोर स्टेप वी हैव टू क्रिएट द आउटपुट स्ट्रीम फाइल आउटपुट स्ट्रीम ऑब्जेक्ट हियर फाइल आउटपुट स्ट्रीम आई गिव इट एज एफ ओ यू एफ ओ यू इज इक्वल टू न्यू फाइल आउटपुट स्ट्रीम आई पास द फाइल ऑब्जेक्ट हियर नो वी गॉट द फाइल आउटपुट स्ट्रीम एंड here i am how i have to pass the object of the file output stream class it is a for you okay uh, so in order to save data into the sd card first upon we have you have to get the path of the sd card we using the environment dot get external storage directory method for getting the path of the sd card after getting the path you have to create a directory on the sd card here i we i just got the absolute path of the directory and here i just create a directory with the name my directory and here uh, by using the mkdars method i just create the directory and now uh, i just create a file on the directory using the directory object and here i just give the name file name as text file.txt and uh, in order to write into the file i have to create an object of file output stream class so here i just create an object of file output stream class and i uh, next i have to create an object of output stream writer class by using that object i just write the data into the file using the write method so in order to load the data from the uh, directly into uh, data from the uh, sd card you have to create that get the uh, sd card path and uh, get the object of the directory also so i just copy that and go to the load segment here is the button listener so we not we don't need this uh, file output stream here i just place the sd card so here i just got the directory now i have to uh, get the object of the a uh, file so file is equal to new file first pass the directory object now the same name of the file the file name is text file.txt so here also i using the same name uh, text file.txt now i have to create an object of the file output stream fs so file output stream new file output stream sorry file input stream your object is file okay now i using the input stream writer and uh, we using the same methods we here using we here getting data using as a data block of 100 character size uh, that are all same that is explained in the previous part okay now this is the time to check the project so here i just run us and load the application and open up the emulator for checking the project Okay, here the project is open, and I just give a message here. Hi. Hello world. And now I have to save the save it. Okay, here the data is saved successfully. Now I have to load the data. That means I have to retrieve the data back from the SD card. So load data. Okay, message is hello world. Guys, this is how we using. how how we saving data into the external sd internal sd card uh, in your android device
so it is a really useful concept because uh, you have to if you if you want to save a large amount of data or a file with a larger size this is a very useful uh, method for saving data into the external SD card uh, you will get the complete source code of this topic from my blog my blog URL is given under the description of this video uh, please subscribe my channel for getting further video updates thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial